How many people right now, as we sit here, how many people are there? 7.5 billion. Too many. Which means 145 born every minute. Which means in this three minute video, about 435 born. That is one busy midwife. I'm not that surprised by the figures though, because I live near a Primark and I've been there on a Saturday morning. So I'm like, yeah, I've seen that many people easily. Do you think it's something we need to stop, stop the flow of more people or do we need to work out better ways of dealing with the overpopulation? Oh, I just started the source, don't you think? Maybe mm -hmm. uh, there's like a reward system for using Condoms. You know, like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with a golden ticket? You yeah. You could do that in packets of condoms, and if you get a golden ticket, you get a free holiday. That's good, but do you think people would still use them? Well, the golden ticket only reveals itself <laughs> when you use it. If, the, if it's been inside a woman? Yes. <laughs> so and, then, and then it shines up ticket, and it, it could even like go like where the holiday is along, along it. So you'd be like, oh, I'm, oh, Ooh, where are we going? I've just had sex and we're off to Malta. You know. <laughs> Could also like give away, in general, give away free stuff. So like, mm. you can get a free Nando's if you go for a vasectomy, right? I'd get a vasectomy if there was free Nando's. One free Nando's? Like a black card. Oh, that, well, I think that's right? too much. You think, oh, okay. So maybe just like a half chicken. Hear me out. Right. Put a second floor on the planet. <laughs> yeah, how would you, where would you put it? Well, where'd you put the second floor? Above the first floor. And obviously the property on the second floor would be more expensive because it would have <laughs> the sun. Course. And if we were living on the first floor, we could go up to, like on, on, holi holiday. on holiday, the holiday that we've mm -hmm. won from our condom. Crazy thought. Mm -hmm. We could provide more education so as that people know how to prevent pregnancy mm. and also that sex causes it. But if we can't do that, extra floor on the planet. Do you know what I think would cut the number of pregnancies is if we made men live the same experience as women while they're pregnant. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so no smoking for nine months, yeah. no drinking for nine months. Morning sickness tablets. Morning sickness. Yes. Make them gain the weight and lose it. Yeah. Then they'd have to have like all that pregnancy wear for men as well. Yeah, like maternity wear. Like I mean, elasticated, elasticated trousers. To be honest, that's a lot of my home wear. Yeah, anyway. I was going to say, it's like, that would be just the same, wouldn't it? I mean, I think honestly, you wouldn't even need to do all of the rest of the shit. If you just told men they couldn't drink for nine months, you'd have it sorted. Dealt with. Yep.